I'm Brittany Umar. Welcome to The Nooner, presented by The Village Poorhouse, where if I do three more shots, I break the all-time record held by that guy in rehab. Take that, Derek Jeter. Yeah, the Yankee captain remains three hits shy of Lou Gehrig's all-time Yankee hit record. Nobody knows exactly when it will happen, but his speech afterwards will likely go like this. Today, day, day, I consider myself self, self, the luckiest man on the face of the earth. The earth, the earth. Have you seen my girlfriend? Friend, friend? And I'm like really rich too. Two, two. Despite Jeter's absolute disastrous day at the plate, the Bombers swept the Rays in a doubleheader at the stadium. They are now a season high nine games in front of the Red Sox, a season high 39 games over 500, and Nick Swisher is just really high. Over on the calling up minor leaguers to sell Shake Shack burgers side of town, the Mets are now bringing up pitcher Toby Stoner to hang out with Nick Swisher. Stoner is expected to dizzily amble his way into flushing later this week if he's not too distracted by all the shiny things near the 7-Eleven Slurpee machine. And if you want to keep up with Stoner, keep it tuned right here. If you want to get up with Stoner, ask that guy with the beard and ponytail working down at the corner deli. He'll hook you up. In tennis news, 17-year-old American Melanie Udan has won hearts at the U.S. Open by charging into the quarterfinals against all odds while wearing pink and yellow sneakers she designed with her boyfriend. If Udan's success continues, she hopes to find a boyfriend who's not so into footwear design or pink and yellow. Moving over to the gridiron, Rutgers opened their season with a 47-15 loss to Cincinnati. The university christened its newly renovated $102 million stadium, which now allows 11,000 more people to see that they suck. How about a little espionage going on in the NFC East? The Giants released quarterback Andre Woodson, who was immediately picked up by Big Blue's opening opponent, the Washington Redskins. Skins head coach Jim Zorn denied that getting info on the Giants was his motivation, but defensive coordinator Jack Bauer was pretty adamant about learning if Hakeem Nix or Dominic Hickson would start at wide receiver. According to reports, the Jets are no longer interested in pursuing Broncos wideout Brandon Marshall because he's an outrageous asshole. And if that isn't the sign of a new regime, I don't know what is. On a personal note, a fond farewell to one of our writers, who didn't give us any notice, but apparently got a job penning headlines for the Daily News. Congrats on the gig, man! Hopefully they pay you better there than they did here, by which I mean at all. Keep those fat jokes coming, buddy. You have a gift. That's all we have for today. Still on the men from the weekend. Hey, where's Stoner at?